Hey legends, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. And on today's episode, we're going to do a product review for the Ultra Swing. The Ultra Swing is manufactured by Rigged Supply. They're located in the city of Orange here in Southern California. We'll have all their details below in the description. But first, let's get into the features and benefits of the Ultra Swing. So what is the Ultra Swing? The Ultra Swing is a tire carrier that fits in your trailer hitch. So this is very convenient for people who have a pickup truck uh, where they don't have a tire carrier mounted to the back of a tailgate per se. So this actually will help you get the tire out from underneath your truck. And with the Colorado ZR2, we know that the tire underneath the truck was also a hang up, especially when you went off roading. So getting it out from underneath the truck is certainly one of the benefits to this design. So another benefit to this design is it allows you to get the tire out from underneath and carry a full size spare. I'm running 35 inch Yokohama tires and allows me to carry a 35 inch tire off the back of my truck in a safe and efficient manner. Now another benefit to this design is the heavy duty hardware that's used. Heavy duty hinge plates and hinge hardware, also heavy duty locking assemblies, not to mention full locking pins at the rear. Now operating the Ultra Swing is easy one-handed for the most part. Just unlock the latch, remove the locking pin, grab your tire, and swing it open. Gives you full access to your truck. The tire swing does open all the way, and as it locks out, it is clear of the vehicle. So you don't have to worry about wind blowing the tire into your tail light or into the side of your truck. Another key benefit to the Ultra Swing is the no wobble design. Where the tire carrier goes into the hitch receiver, there is a wedge that's cut with a bolt through it. Now this tightens up and prevents any wobble at the receiver. Now I'm gonna put a link in the upper right hand corner so you guys can check out Ultra Swing's video and how they tested how durable their product is. Now another key benefit is the tow rating. This has a 10,000 pound capacity tow rating and a 1,000 pound tongue rating. And when we say rating, it has been rated. Now I do see a lot of tire carriers out there that have not been rated where people are saying that, oh, it, it has this capacity or that capacity. None of that means anything. It's all lip service unless someone has actually tested it and um, it's registered to carry that weight. So that's another benefit to the Ultra Swing. The Ultra Swing itself does have a load capacity limit. It's 250 pounds. So your spare tire, rim, cook table, shovels, anything you put on this, including high lift jacks, cannot exceed 250 pounds. I opted for the front runner camp table. Now this cutting board here is the all weather cutting board by Rig Supply. This is an additional cost. The front runner table does come with a wooden one uh, as standard, but uh, the all weather table is definitely the one you want. This is Frontrunner's updated table design, and it has arms instead of chains or cables. If you do put the camp table, you will have to get the Rego um, insert. Now this is a full insert that you can bolt the table to. Um, it is laser cut, and it's designed to fit the Ultra Swing perfectly, and it's a way for you to carry additional accessories. I'm also using it to carry our Angry Beaver shovel. Now with the tire carrier, it makes it nice to carry accessories like this trash -a -roo. Now, once again, if you fill your trash -a -roo up and it has 300 pounds worth of trash, it could cause damage to the Ultra Swing. So just monitor how much weight you're putting in there. Now, some people will um, put straps around a tire, maybe maybe carry some roto packs here. Once again, just remember um, how much does gas weigh per gallon and add all that up before you overload this uh, tire carrier and cause damage. Overall though, I've seen people put a lot of things on these and they look awesome. Let's talk about some of the cons to this Ultra Swing. So in a recent video, one of my subscribers said that they seen the tire carrier moving a little bit. Now I have admitted that I haven't done a nut and bolt on the truck in a while and there is some movement there. Um, so I'm sure if I torque that down a little bit, we'll get rid of some of that movement, but you're always gonna have some movement uh, regardless of what you see uh, there's going to be some movement, uh, but this thing is solid as a rock for the most part. Like I've had it for a good six months now and I'm super pleased with its performance. 
since we did go to the larger tires and we added a tremendous amount of additional weight, um, I have noticed a little more movement with the tire carrier, but still nothing compared to some of the other brands that are out there. I want you guys to feel confident in purchasing this tire carrier uh, as a solution to, once again, running a larger tire, getting the tire out from underneath the truck and being able to carry some additional accessories. Another con is the pin located at the back of the tire carrier. Now the pin is designed to help create additional rigidity, uh, also to make it more stable. This is the pin. It'd be nicer if it was a larger pin and it had a T-handle on the top. Uh, and, and I understand that they probably put it here for design reasons. This helps to stabilize the far end of the ultra swing. If there was a way that there was maybe a mechanical pin or rod or lever where you push down and it would it would pop the pin up that would be more convenient uh, reaching around the tire especially if it's dirty uh, and you're you know like me I drive this truck every day um, if I was to be dressed up and needed to access the back of my truck I would have to lean over this tire to be able to reach behind and pull that pin out of there Another con as far as uh, the ultra swing is systems integration. Many times manufacturers have to worry about backup cameras, license plate relocating and license plate lighting. Uh, here with the ultra swing, we do get a uh, bracket that carries the license plate. However, the license plate is poorly supported. Uh, you can see here, it's just screwed at the bottom. Nothing supports the top. And every time you reach in to have to pull that pin, the license plate gets bent a little bit. Um, yeah, you could probably buy a, a steel one, but that bracket should be full size of a license plate. It should be able to mount top and bottom and it should have a light installed on it. Another thing I realized after purchasing the Ultra Swing is that the uh, backup camera, yeah, so you're gonna have to relocate that. You can't possibly see through a tire and table, right? So all I did was remove the plate that's on the back of the tailgate, brought the wires back down and relocated my camera here. Now, the issue with this is, is that there are no holes that are pre-tapped or there's no um, welded assembly for you to bolt your camera to. It's impossible for them to know what every camera is gonna be shaped or how it would be attached. Um, and this Ultra Swing fits every vehicle with a two inch hitch. So you have to kind of be, uh, you know, a design engineer and figure a way to mount your backup camera. But certainly it was easy enough. I took care of it in a couple of hours, not a big deal. I reached out a while back to Jason Denny. He's one of the owners of Rig Supply. And I asked him if I could come to their shop to do a one-on-one -on -one with them to talk about the Ultra Swing. Um, they're extremely busy. He told me it would be at least a month before I could go in there and discuss the product with him. So I wasn't able to do that. So if I missed any details, please reach out to them. They're happy to answer any and all questions. Let's talk a little bit though about how this all prices out because I know you guys are curious. So the Ultra Swing by itself, just the tire carrier that goes in your hitch is $1,020. Now all these prices, you have to add your tax and shipping if you're not in California able to pick it up. The Rego Fab Ultra Plate is $150. The camp table is $169, that's with the wooden uh, table. Now, if you want the all-weather table, that's an additional $50. Now, the Rotopack mount and the high lift jack, I do not have those, but the Rotopack mount is $40, and the high lift jack is $150, but there's another $29.95 uh, license plate relocation plate that has to be installed. So everything is sold a la carte. So a lot of you will probably say, David, why didn't you just go with a fully built single swing bumper then? Well, let's talk about that. So CBI would be the company to go with, right? CBI bumper is $1,999 and the table is $175, okay? So that's $2,175. Now, this setup that I currently have would price out at $1,389 if you were to buy that the way you see mine set up. So $1,389 versus $2,175, that's a difference of $800. Now, in hindsight, you buy once, you cry once, they say, right? So if I had to wait and do it all over again, I would certainly go with the CBI bumper. That's just my honest opinion. However, if you're someone that's driving a truck where you're not gonna be going, uh, you know, doing constant off-roading like I am, rock crawling where your bumper may be compromised, um, then stay with us. This is a great product for that type of, of adventure seeker. Um, because I do plan on doing more aggressive trails as time goes by, the, the factory bumper is not gonna hold up to any abuse. So I'm gonna uh, say that the CBI bumper would be certainly where I would spend my money. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative to you. Please uh, like, comment, and share, obviously. It always helps the channel, helps us grow. And I wanna thank the 100 new subscribers that we got this month. Uh, I didn't expect that type of growth, but it's been terrific, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Please leave any comments, concerns, and the questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. Have a great day.